children in CLC. 15 of them are girls and three are boys. From the 15 girls, there's one girl, she's lame and she has no speech at all, but she can hear. Then another one, she can't write, but she can speak well, play well, but she has phobia for writing. I picked a pen from one child and I asked them that if, if I buy one pen, I pay 500 shillings. What if, if I want four of them? Then I picked four pens from four different learners and then I showed them the four pens. And then one boy was able to recall that if I have four pens and each pen is 500 shillings, then I should add 500, 504 times to get the answer. And then there was a girl who also thought of multiplication that we were supposed to multiply the four pens times the, the, the amount of one, of, of one pen, and then we're able to get the answer. But just use the resources from, from them. Just pick the pens and then we're able to, to relate. They may not know the object, eh? but at least if you talk about a color, I want a cup and she may not know what a cup is, but if she sees the green stuff around, maybe she can guess to know that may, this is what they are telling me to to bring because she, she can now identify the color. When I made these, uh, the flowers, those decorations, the, the intention was color, but for them, when they got them, they are excited about having that de the decoration, that, that design, the different designs. They loved them and that one captured their attention very much when they saw those colors. This particular lesson that, I, that I'm from, when I was planning for it, I looked at what the, the curriculum says and then which, which learners do I have in the class and then how can they benefit from this lesson. Uh, I had at least two other activities for the other group which needs extra help where there were those who were shading, maybe three pens, five pens, there were, there were those who were adding maybe 300 plus 300 plus 300 but in a little simplified way than, than, than I was teaching these other ones here. The first week I came to Mokisa, I had to look at them, just look at them. Second week I had to study them. I tried to encourage them, using those cards with the, the, uh, the beginning sounds. When they've just come, they do not like class because they are not used to. But we give them time like a week or two and we don't force them for us we say those who are interested come to class so slowly by slowly those who are outside they also pink interest and come one by one some may come decide to sit and look at what you're doing especially the shading activity different colors that one motivates others to join in and slowly by slowly they all get involved We're sharing the joy of life.